Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday, it is Friday, it is the weekend and I couldn't be happier. Even though I'm just as busy on the weekend as the weekday, it's always such a good feeling when the weekend rolls around. Today we're going to be talking all about my week, setting some goals for next week. I have a very, very exciting announcement for you. We're going to discuss the WW Workshop topic and of course this week's weigh-in. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and of course your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a single weigh-in or a single video. I do upload five days a week. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories, highly recommend, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to talk with me one-on-one. -on -one. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come on over, join us on Facebook. We would love to have you join that community as well. So let's go ahead and dive into how my week was. Let's set some goals, talk about the WW workshop topic, have an exciting announcement, and of course, this week's weigh-in. I hope you had an amazing week. I shared this last Sunday a huge, huge life update. If you haven't seen that video, I'll make sure that I link it down in the description box for you. Get caught up with me. I'll let you know what's happening in my life, what's happening on my channel. Lots and lots of changes. So with that, I've been very busy. As you can imagine, I have been packing and making tons and tons of phone calls, trying to get everything lined up. It's a lot of work to sell a house, buy another house, and move out of state all at the same time. I'm so grateful that Troy is here to help me because I don't know if I would be able to handle all of this on my own. So that's true really been a blessing having him home from work, not only just to help watch the dogs, help run errands. We've taken several loads to Goodwill. We have sold a plethora of things on Facebook Marketplace, and he has just been such a big help, which has really taken a lot of the burden off of me. Several good things have happened, but one thing that I'm really proud of this last week is that I was able to get my exercise in. I was able to go to Jazzercise. I went and walked on the treadmill on Monday at my local gym. That was actually really nice and something I looked forward to, as weird as that sounds. That half of an hour walk really helps set my day up on the right foot and helps set me up for success. My food throughout the week has been fantastic. In fact, right now I am drinking my coffee with a protein shake to get in about 30 grams of protein this morning. And just overall, I feel like I had a great week. I also shared with you in last week's weigh-in video that I have lost 89.3 pounds, which means that I am 0.7, point measly seven away from hitting 90 pounds loss, which is a huge milestone for me. And one of the things that I'm doing for myself in honor of that is a closet clean out. I have been struggling with my clothes. Most of my clothes don't fit. Some of them still fit okay, but most of them are excessively large on me and I'm just not reaching for them. So I'm so excited to be able to do a closet clean out at 90 pounds down. I'm planning on giving all of my clothes to my girlfriend. She'll root through those, decide what she wants, and then whatever she doesn't choose to keep or doesn't fit here, she'll go ahead and take to our local shelter or to Goodwill. So this is something I'm really excited about. So we need to find out whether or not I lost 0.7 this week and hit that 90 pounds down. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this week's WW workshop topic. It's another really good one. And this is to how to stop self-sabotaging yourself. Let's cut right to the chase. Sometimes things don't go the way that we want them to go, whether it's in our personal life, with our kids, with our family, and especially with our weight loss. But there are ways to make changes and kind of course correct so that we can stop self-sabotaging ourselves when things don't go our way. There are some things that we can try that will help us stop self-sabotaging. I'm going to go ahead and pop the picture here on the screen from the WW workshop topic because I think it's a really good visual tool for us to really understand the steps that we can take to stop this behavior. So number one, imagine there's a recording of that situation you were in and that you didn't love. Rewind it in your mind. Make note of what you're doing, what's going on around you, and even what you're thinking. This is a good starting point to really rewind and reflect on what happened that made you self-sabotage. We can't make changes if we don't recognize what changes need to be made. Number two is to spot any moments that might have
have contributed to your challenge, the ones where you wish you could stop the tape and change what you did or how you acted. This is really important. Maybe the self-sabotage that you did is eating a whole entire package of cookies. What could you have done to prevent that from happening? Maybe that something as simple as not bringing the cookies into your house, or maybe pre-portioning those out so that you're not tempted to eat the entire package. Again, it's really important to reflect and know what needs to be changed to stop self-sabotaging. Number three is pick just one thing to tweak and re-record. What did you shift? So let's go back to our cookie situation. Maybe we decide that it's just not wise for us to bring a whole entire package of cookies into our house, but we don't want to eliminate cookies altogether. So maybe we buy a single cookie from our local bakery. That way, once it's gone, it's gone and we have a single serving, not an entire package. And number four is to press play on your new video. Did your outcome ultimately change? Pinpoint what led to your success so that you can repeat it. This is really important. What works for you and what doesn't? Now, the things that work for you, put those on repeat. Keep doing those over and over again. Maybe the single cookie from the bakery really helped you not overeat and not over consume points or calories with the entire package. All of these little changes and really reflecting on what didn't work and what works can play a huge part in stopping the self-sabotage. Have you ever blamed yourself for not feeling motivated enough? I know that I have and in fact, this is a question I get asked all the time, whether it's from a coaching client or from YouTube, is how do I stay motivated? How do I keep going? When we self-sabotage, when we screw up, so to speak, we can get really mad, annoyed at ourselves and feel really, really disappointed in ourselves. This is a form of self-sabotage. When we're talking negatively or to ourselves or focusing on negative things, it can really lead us down a destructive path. Try showing yourself some kindness, giving yourself some grace. We're not perfect. We're human beings. We're not perfect in life. We're not perfect in our with our kids, with our marriage, and we're definitely not perfect with our weight loss journey. So allow yourself a little bit of grace and instead of getting mad at yourself, course correct and do it different next time. Make small changes to stay motivated, build up momentum, and keep going in the right direction. I really, really like this topic. I think every single one of us, let me know if you are one of the rare ones that don't self-sabotage ourselves at times. And this doesn't even have to be with weight loss. This can be in life in general. We can self-sabotage ourselves in our marriage, in our career, and especially when it comes to losing weight and living a healthy lifestyle. So I'm glad WW is focusing on these topics and giving us the tools that we need to stop the destructive behavior. I really think this month's topics have been really, really good, this one included. So now what you've all been waiting for, did I hit 90 pounds loss and do I have a closet clean out video coming your way soon? The short answer to this is yes, I did. When I stepped on the scale today, I am down 1.2 pounds, which means that I have lost 90.5 pounds total. So that means that I am over 90 pounds lost, which is so incredibly exciting and I cannot wait, cannot wait to clean out my closet. I have a feeling I'll be getting rid of a lot of my clothes. I would say at least half of them. And then with moving out of state on top of that, this is the perfect time to really deep dive in my closet, get rid of clothes that don't fit me because I'm never going to be wearing those clothes again ever. Also get rid of shoes, winter clothes, things I won't need in sunny Arizona. This is just the perfect, perfect time for that. So definitely stay tuned for that closet clean out video coming your way here in the next couple of weeks, which is super exciting. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. Did you gain? Did you lose? What do you think of this week's topic? And do you think that you self-sabotage yourself a lot? I know that I can suffer from this. Definitely let me know down in the comments and let me know if you're excited for this closet clean out video. I know that I am. I hope you have an amazing Friday, an amazing weekend, and don't forget to give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you never miss any future videos. I do upload five days a week. Stay tuned for tomorrow's grocery haul. It is going to be a little bit different. We're shopping my pantry, my fridge, my freezer, and we're building recipes around what we have on hand, which is a good way to save money and stay within our grocery budget. Don't forget to check out the description box again for nutrition coaching. I'd love to help you reach your goals as well as links and discounts to my favorite things. And lastly, we'd love to have you over in our Facebook group. Thank you so much for watching friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.